This week on a special edition of MacMost, we show you how to get the most of your music from alternatives to the iTunes Music Store. If you've ever wondered where you could get music for your Mac and iPod other than the iTunes Music Store, we have some options here for you. All the sources provided here offer DRM-free MP3s. These can be played on your Mac, iPod, or iPhone, or any other MP3 player, which you can't do with most songs purchased from iTunes. <laughs> eMusic is probably the MP3 download service that has been around the longest, at least for legal downloads. Founded in 1998, they've been doing it since long before the iTunes Music Store. They are a subscription service and offer 30 downloads per month for just $9.99 and a few other options. They've also recently added audiobooks for download. Online retail giant Amazon.com just stepped into the downloadable music arena with Amazon MP3. Amazon MP3 is the beta version downloadable music service that features over 2 million songs from both major and independent labels. The site also has the free Amazon MP3 downloader, a tiny helper application that allows you to download entire albums with one click and automatically adds it to your music in iTunes. Amy Street is another site that offers DRM free MP3s for download, but with a twist. Songs range in price from free to 98 cents depending on how many times a song has been downloaded. Amy Street is based on a community of users that recommend music they like to others, and the price of the songs increase with their popularity. Mtrax touts itself as part digital music marketplace, part music community. They offer a free trial with 30 free downloads and feature over 800,000 songs from independent artists. Magnitude is a site that features over 500 hand-picked albums for download. It's free to listen to any of the music available and doesn't require registration or sign-up to listen. It also features a variable pricing model with albums starting at 5 bucks, with artists receiving half of the profit. A lot of independent musicians are using Snowcap.com to distribute their music online. You can find Snowcap links on a lot of MySpace pages. You can also go directly to Snowcap.com to explore new artists or download music from your favorite indie band now. In many ways, the best option to get DRM-free music is by just buying a good old-fashioned CD. Whether you buy them online and have them shipped to you or visit your local music store, they offer the best quality and can be easily imported into iTunes as DRM-free music. Ripping CDs you own is legal for personal use and you also have the physical CD and liner notes as a backup to your digital files. Thanks for watching this special edition of the MacMost video podcast. If you want to contact us or would like to sponsor an episode of MacMost, you can email us at podcast at macmost.com. Be sure to visit macmost.com for the latest Apple news. We post tutorials and tips to our site throughout the week where you can subscribe to the show. We've also got an iPhone version of the site and the largest collection of iPhone games by one company. So go check it out. Don't forget MacMost Review, our audio podcast with commentary and rumors. You can subscribe to MacMost and MacMost Review using iTunes. So tell your friends and please take the time to leave us a review. This is Molly Stanberry for MacMost. See you again soon. Of course, many individual artists offer downloads directly from their websites, sometimes even for free. Locate the website of your favorite artists. Like myself, I went to Yanni.com and uh, found direct downloads there um, to see if they have direct downloads for their music. <laughs> it's free to listen to any of the music available and doesn't require registration or sign up to listen. It requires a prompter, though, to continue to feed me the lines. <laughs>